What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the One Up Brain channel and I'm here to bring you guys a little something different. I'm going to bring you guys uh, a Super Bowl 55 prediction and not just a normal Super Bowl prediction where I just blur out the score but an in-depth analysis of how both teams are going to figure each other out and maximize their abilities so they can win the greatest stage of professional football history so i hope you guys enjoy this video get settled in get your snacks get your water and let's get into it let's get it so first things first we got the 11 and 5 tampa bay buccaneers facing off the 14 and 2 kansas city chiefs and we all know that it is the old school golden boy of the NFL who is Tom Brady versus the new school golden boy and Patrick Mahomes. And this is going to be a very offensive game. Not the Super Bowl versus the when Tom Brady played against the Rams a few years ago. No, this is going to be a high offense game. So just expect at least four touchdowns from each opponent. So, let's get into that. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna go off and say, Kansas City, they beat Tampa Bay in week 12, 27 to 24. But in the beginning, you know, they just ran, they just ran with the score. You know, like I said, uh, you know, it's like the 2010, 2011 Miami Heat, you know, first year, three, Three dominant scores, three dominant guys, LeBron, James, <laughs> James Hart, LeBron, uh, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, all trying to figure it out, but they still made it to the NBA championships, the NBA finals, but they still lost. So this is going to be a big time adjustment for Tom, for, yeah, for Tampa Bay, Gronkineers, because for one, you got Tom Brady got Rob Gronkowski their connection is out of this world and then you have Leonard Fournette who's finally found his fitting in this Tampa Bay offense which he really hasn't found throughout the season but he has clearly shown in this playoff stretch that he's had that he's capable of taking over the run game if needed then you also got Mike Mike Evans and then you have a secret weapon that Tampa Bay needs to utilize. And that's Scotty Miller, number 10, their slot receiver. He's their sneaky fast guy. And whenever have, whenever Tom Brady has a sneaky fast guy on his offense, such as uh, Julian Elliman, Wes Welker, you know, uh, Chris Hogan, he's been lighting it up, especially when it, when it matters. And Kansas City, I have major respect for their defense, especially Tyron Matthews. He is their quarterback of the defense. He will figure it out. He will, you know, for the most part, stat seats won't say won't say he's a big impact, but you know, if you look on playoff or player football focus, he is he he shows a major impact on the defense when he's on the field. You know, we saw that when he was with the Cardinals. Uh, with the Texans and then we all know what he did for Kansas City last year. You know, he's my he's one of my favorite safeties of all time So I pay a lot of attention to his game So and I just want you guys to make sure you guys are as well and so So like when Tom Brady has his connections the offense is flowing, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a high-scoring game so it's it's all about it's all about who's going to have the most stops in the fourth quarter because we all know that Patrick Mahomes and that Kansas City offense you know they can be down by 14 with 30 seconds left and they will find a way to come back you know that's very dramatic but hey with his ability and that offense Legion of Zoom you know they can they can do whatever they want really it's all about just creating the pressure and make sure you're sticking on Stick it on the receivers, you know, like the Oak or Oakland, yeah, Oakland Raiders. I mean, Las Vegas Raiders did to them, 
you know, they almost beat them twice. Shout out to the boys. But, you know, you know, they, the Raiders has proved that they are beatable. And, you know, this season, Kansas City, you know, there's a few games where they, I believe they have four games where they just blew out the opponent. Four or five games. And then the rest were literally within six points. Six points, three points, or, you know, like literally less than 10 points to where they got to come back or they're fighting their way back from the top. You know, that's a big indication that, that you know, teams, that they just got to put their foot on the gas against this team, which a lot of teams aren't trying to do, you know. It's Kansas City teams like the Golden State Warriors when they were in their dynasty, you know, when other NBA teams played against Golden State, you know, they'll try to play like Golden State, just jack up the threes because, you know, they're down by 12, but it's still the second quarter. They're not playing their games to come back, you know, the right way for them. And so teams in the NFL, they're trying to play like Kansas City where they're just trying to chuck it. They're just trying to throw the ball. But let's say if they're if they have a stronger run game, they just they will just abandon the run game and just try to they'll just try to outdo them. If both teams they have to make sure that they shut each other's offenses down. That's gonna be a, a very tall order for for each team. Because you know, to me, if for Kansas City, they figured it out the first week, the first time they played Brady in week 12, which was great pressure. You know, Brady threw two interceptions before he got hit. So that means he's not trying to get hit. He is 42 years old. You know, he's been he's been getting hit for 20 plus years now. He's been playing football longer than than everybody combined on the field you know you know from pop warner to nfl he has literally 30 plus years of football experience and we all know that you know the older you get you know the harder and the more painful stuff gets to you so kansas city they figure it out by creating more pressure on brady you know they Tampa Bay, they got monster receivers. You got Chris Godwin, who's been on the slump, but I feel like he's going to show up on the big stage. Uh, Mike Evans, ah, he needs to show up as well. Then you got Gronkowski, who's not new to this, you know. And then you got Antonio Brown. He is, he is an X factor because why? You know, we all know it from years prior when he was with the Steelers. He used to torch up that Kansas City offense every single year, or that Kansas City defense, I'm sorry, every single year, you know, when he was with the Steelers. So if he's able to tap in when he was with Big Ben and them, but with a way better quarterback and a way better system, you know, he could be able to light them up. And then you have Scotty Miller, who will get who will get Brady his checkdowns and all of that. You know, it's it's more for giving getting Brady the time, cause, cause the, you know, like I said, more pressure. He's gonna try to he he's gonna make bad uh, decisions, and we've been seeing that throughout the season. You know, he still will throw for 250 plus a game, but he will have those games where he will throw an interception when he didn't need to, or he'll make he'll make the wrong read. But he's still playing at a high level, which is crazy. So it's like their their offense doesn't overmatches their defense. Especially you got Leonard Fournette, who, like I said, found his footing in the offense. And they got Ronald Jones, the second, who could who could bust a 63 yard who could bust a 60 yard run if he just goes through the hole. Because that's Kansas City's defense's struggle is the run stop. Because like I said before, you know, when you try to play like Kansas City and just throw the ball, that defense will pick up. They got they got good DBs. Got uh you know. So they're gonna they're gonna figure a way out to adjust. So if they focus on running the ball, it's to me it's a done deal. And and go to Kansas City's offense. 
you have you know Patrick Mahomes who could he could run if he wants to you know we saw it during the Browns game but with Chad Henning you know like that on the last drive where everybody's in zone deep prevent defense but he still can run he still run for 20 yards because nobody's in the vicinity so they have to they have to learn and adjust from that because Patrick Mahomes he's a better athlete and a better and a better quarterback overall than Henny so you know they really have to tighten up and play smart and so that you know because you got Tyreek Hill the fastest man in NFL history in my opinion and he has good hands and crazy athleticism so if you guys truly watch this game you know like I said he torched them week 12 that's by himself you know the first half alone not just the not just the game the first half and then you have Travis Kelsey who could who was a great run blocker great pass blocker and also deadly in the route running they have Sammy Watkins, who is crazy right now. Nicole Hardman. And they have Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who can pound the ball if needed. And then you have Le'Veon Bell. You know, he hasn't been the same Le'Veon Bell, all pro running back with the Steelers. You know, he's been on decline, but he's on the right offense to where he can get in and do some damage. So that it's it's just a big it's just a big game for the defense. You know, we know it's gonna be a high scoring game. It's just the defense. And you know, Tom Brady has shown in the past, especially versus the Falcons, that he can come back. But that's the Falcons, you know, a team that doesn't really have much success, especially in the playoffs or in the Super Bowl, you know, where they came back and beat them you know Kansas City's a different it's a different beast you know they can they can come back versus anybody so my thing is whoever is up in the fourth quarter you know I believe they will take over the game and when I mean the fourth quarter I mean the last three possessions let's say if if Tampa Bay is up by a touchdown and going into the fourth quarter, they gotta make three. They gotta make three of their best defensive fronts to win the game. Because we all know Patrick Mahomes, he can do whatever he wants to get the ball out, move the chains, and score with ease. So, with that being said, if Vintage Brady comes out and dominates the game the whole the whole offense is clicking they're on the same page the defense i know the defense they're going to give up they're going to give up points they're going to give up a lot of yards because um on both teams because they're two great offenses and you know i'll be surprised if one team shuts out the other because that's not what i'm expecting i'm expecting for a high scoring game you know you know, Tampa Bay's defense has to step up. Tampa Bay's defense, their linebackers are better than Kansas City's. You know, it's just it's just the defensive backs. Defensive backs I'm worried about. If they if they play man defense with two safeties over the top, you know, that will slow them down. Make sure that this their D line gets pressure. You know, Jason Pierre Paul, he gets his hands on Mahomes. Uh, Dominican Sue gets his hands on the ball to create pressure because you got Levante David, he's sideline to sideline, he's a speedy linebacker. So, if, if he has to go on Edwards Hilaire, I believe he could stick with them. So, like I said, if playoff advantage Brady comes back and shows him why he's the GOAT, then I have. I have Tampa Bay winning 42 to 35. And I say this. Kansas City it will they will be down they will be down 35 to 28 
in the fourth quarter. But since they are known for scoring very fast and the game will be tied, you know, when that happens or vice versa, if Kansas City is down and Brady gets the ball last, they will, Tampa Bay will win it. But if it's vice versa, then the Kansas City Chiefs will run away with it. So to me, I don't want Kansas City to win. But I'm not trying to be very biased in this analysis. You know, I'm no expert. I'm just talking out my ass right now. But, you know, I created notes. I looked at the stats from prior game. And I, I've been watching Patrick Mahomes play since he got in the league. And so has Tom Brady. So I'm just trying to piece I'm just trying to piece together, you know, the puzzle of of how this game could end. You know? So like I said, if Tom Brady gets the ball last and that offense is clicking, they can go up 42 to 35 and win Super Bowl 55. Because as I said, it's going to be a high scoring game, you know, 500 yards passing and all that. Tampa Bay will win it. But that's only if Tampa Bay can get Kansas City to run the ball. Because they have the least amount of run plays or or utilize their run plays during games because they get to sling the rock. If they can get them to run more than 15 or 20 plays, they have a good chance. Because if Tampa Bay utilizes their run game, they have a better chance of winning. Because they can they can easily just figure out that offense to where oh they're just gonna pass they're gonna pass 80% of the game Kansas City they'll be all over it so if they mix it up the run and the pass you know play actions I don't know because Brady's not that mobile he was never that mobile but he's getting older so so he he he'll probably take more hits if he does play actions but if they just figure out the run and pass attack on them Tampa Bay will win it it hurts my heart to say because you know I'm a big Brady hater especially when he was with uh, the Patriots but I'm, I'm also a Kansas City hater because they're in my favorite team's division and they've been killing it for the past five years so like I said 42-35 Tampa Bay so yeah guys so that, that's it for this video I truly hope you enjoyed it I did like making this video, but please let me know in the comment section or in social media if you enjoyed this video or if you want to see me do something more like this. Because I can speak football, you know. I like I like the Flimlo Raps and KTO. I love their channel. I love their uh, podcast, Sports Therapy. You know, it gives me it gives me the inspiration to do this type of video. But other than that. I appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comment section who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl? How and what's and what's your final score that you think that's gonna happen? But yep, yeah. hey, I appreciate you guys coming along with me. Hope you guys enjoy it. I want you guys to be safe and blessed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.